G'day guys! So last night we camped out here in uh, Cockle Creek in the Southwest National Park. It's actually the most southern point of Tasmania that you can drive to, meaning the most southern point of Australia. Um, we were hoping to see the southern lights last night but we didn't. Um, it was meant to be cloudy today but amazing so we are going to do a hike um, just along the southern tip of Tasmania out to Southwest Bay um, there is a hike that actually goes from here that's classified as one of Tasmania's best hikes but it's five to eight days so we're just going to do the start of it it only takes about four hours so we're going to take the most of this beautiful day go do the hike come back have a swim because just behind that tree there is the most beautiful beach so I will show you guys that one a bit later when we come back and take a dip so come on put those hiking boots on let's go explore the southern tip of Tasmania this trail was a pretty easy one although it is 16 kilometers long the track is predominantly flat and took us about three and a half hours to complete this South Cape Bay hike is the most southerly day walk you can do in Australia and is full of incredible Tasmanian bush life only a two hour drive south from the major city of Hobart, this is an area you'll definitely want to visit when you're travelling Tasmania. The free camping at Cockle Creek alone is worth the drive out, let alone being able to walk to the most southern point of the country. The trail starts with a fairly easy to follow dirt path. There are a few uneven parts as the ground is rocky and has tree roots popping up here and there, but it is easily managed. As this trail is so bushy, please be mindful of snakes in the area as we did see a tiger snake slither across our path near the beginning of the track when we were finishing the trail. This track can become fairly muddy after some wet weather, so make sure you wear appropriate footwear. As we continued on into the bush, small sections of boardwalk appeared to help guide you through. Sections of this path do appear to be quite overgrown, so longer pants and shirts would be ideal if you do not like sticks and shrubs brushing up against you. After about three kilometers in the bush, you come out to a clearing that makes this section of the walk nice and easy. The small duck boards lay on top of the marshy ground, creating an easy platform for hikers to venture across without struggle. This section of the trail is lovely as you are enclosed by the rolling hills around you. Who would have thought this coastal track would be full of so much bush and greenery? You do face a lot of direct sunlight here, so always be sure to wear some sunscreen. The duck boards end after a few kilometres and you return back onto a dirt track as you start to climb gentle hills into the forest. If you listen hard enough, you can even start to hear the waves rolling in. From here, everything starts to cool down a bit as you wander through the thick forest past creeks and bubbling brooks. The ground starts to become more sandy as you get closer and closer to the coastline. As you begin to reach the 8km mark, you'll break through the dense shrubbery and be greeted with the view that you've been waiting for.
The sound of waves crashing into the headland as you walk closer and closer towards the most southern point of Tasmania. The scenery here is beautiful. The raw and wild coastlines stretching out in front of your eyes. If you look directly south, you might even be able to see Antarctica. No, I'm just joking. But Antarctica is the next piece of land reachable through these waters. It is just over 4,000 kilometers in distance. A weird fact that I learnt the other day is that Melbourne is actually closer to Antarctica than it is Darwin. 20 kilometers closer to be exact, which is just wild. We sat and had lunch here just watching the ocean do its thing before we headed back off into the bush from where we came. The surrounding mountains quickly take over your view as the sea is swept away behind them. Keep an eye out for wildlife as there are many creatures big and small for you to spot on this trail as well as many types of fungi. We headed back onto the duck boards before the home stretch. Now, I did promise you at the start I would show you guys the incredible beach we have right here at our campsite. So here it is. This beautiful calm bay was the perfect spot for a cool dip. And best of all, it's right on our doorstep. Well, that was South Cape Bay here in Tasmania. And although this 16 kilometer distance may seem daunting, this track is definitely achievable for most people and is a definite must for fellow adventurers.